Today we are going to learn about the work done in volume changes. We are going to derive the expression for work done in volume changes. Look at the cylindrical arrangement within which a gas is filled up. This is the piston arrangement, that piston that could be either moved in the upward direction or in the downward direction. Here due to heating what will happen, gas may expand. That gas it does the work on the piston. So while writing the sentence we have to write work done by the gas on the piston. Here this is the initial position of the piston. A is the initial position of the piston and P i is nothing but initial pressure of the gas. V i is nothing but initial volume of the gas. After the expansion the gas it pushes the piston in the upward direction therefore work is done by the gas. After the push what happens? The piston it goes to the new position B. There the new pressure is PF. PF means final pressure. VF means final volume. Here pressure decreases, volume increases. Volume increases. Look at the title here. Due to volume change, we are going to find out the work done expression. Here first you have to imagine that is the piston that is moving in a very slow manner. Are you clear? the pressure and volume changes both are occurring in a very slow manner. Such kind of process is called quasi static process, quasi static process. Therefore, to clear that assumption is very important when the piston moves from here to there, this is the largest uh, displacement. So before calculating the total work done, first we have to assume the uh, small displacement occurred here. The small displacement can be taken as dx for that we have to calculate the small value of work done. So how to start the derivation here, first I will write the expression for small work done, small work done, small work done by the gas must be calculated that can be written as dw, why it is written as dw, since it is small work done we have to write it as dw, when the piston moves through a small distance by the time the work done should be taken as dw. What is the general formula for work done? Work done is equal to force into displacement. So here the displacement is dx. Are you clear? That should be multiplied by force. Understood? Now we know the formula for pressure. Pressure is equal to force per area. Here area is nothing but area of cross section of the piston. So to find out the value of f f is equal to p into a can be taken are you clear so by multiplying the pressure and the area we are able to get the expression for force therefore dw is equal to p into a into dx can be written here a into dx what is a into dx a is the area of cross section of the piston and dx is the distance small distance through which that piston moves so if area of cross section and the small distance if both are multiplied the small change in volume you will get therefore a into dx that gives you the small change in the volume therefore this portion can be eliminated by writing dw is equal to p into dv can be written are you clear p into dv can be written so this is the fundamental basic formula from which we are able to get the expression for the work done in volume changes. Here dv is nothing but small change in the volume. Are you clear? Here the volume it increases from vi to vf. Vi means initial volume. Vf is the final volume. Here volume is increased. Volume is increased. Therefore the change in volume is positive. Are you clear? Change in volume is positive because volume increases. Therefore change in volume is positive. Therefore, work done is also should be taken as positive. If this value is positive means the work done will also be positive. Now we are going to calculate the total work done. What is total work done here? When the piston moves from this position A position to B position, greater displacement occurs. When the greater displacement occurs, there we have to calculate the clear uh, the total work done. By integrating all small work done, by integrating all small work done that takes place within this region, we are able to cal calculate the total work done. So what we have to do, 
so many number of dw's are there dw1 dw2 dw3 dw4 n number of dw's are there everything to be summed up instead of summing up we have to integrate so integral of dw that one gives you the total work done that is equal to integral of pdv are you clear this is the formula understood so w is equal to here what we have to do we have to substitute the limits what are the limits which are available there what is the initial uh, what is the initial uh, volume vi what is the final volume vf p into dv so that should be written are you clear so this is the expression from which we are able to cal calculate the total work done are you clear that is done by the gas on the piston that is very important total work done by the gas on the piston can be calculated because that push is done by that push is done by whom this gas that's why we have to say that work done by the gas on the piston must be written so this is the simplest expression by knowing the value of pressure and the change in volume we are able to calculate the total work done understood here you should know that there are two kind of work done in some cases the work done will be positive in some other cases the work done will be negative look at the animation here the gas is expanding the system or gas that one does the work therefore it is said that the work done is by the system so that one takes place during expansion here volume increases therefore the work done by the system is always positive in this case now we are going to learn when the work done is said to be negative when the work is done on the system that is when the piston is compressed what will happen the volume decreases by the time the work done is said to be negative now we are going to learn what is pv diagram if any graph is drawn between the pressure and volume such kind of graph is called pv diagram here volume is taken in x axis and pressure of the gas is taken in y axis here look at the <coughs> cylinder and piston arrangement in the cylinder and piston arrangement the initial position of the piston is taken as a and within the cylinder that gas is filled up if gas expands what it will do the gas that one will push the cylinder in the upward direction so because of the push actually who who is doing that work that gas that system it does the work so the work done by the gas that can be calculated by drawing the pv diagram so the initial position of the <coughs> piston can be taken as a the initial pressure and volume both are taken as pi vi so the initial pressure and volume both can be marked on the graph so let us imagine this is the location of the piston that is represented as a the initial pressure can be taken as pi the initial volume can be taken as vi after the expansion what happens it goes to the new position b finally the pressure value will be pf and volume value is vf so pressure what happens the pressure decreases volume increases pressure decreases volume increases therefore it comes to your new position called b there the new pressure is pf new volume is vf now this a and b both have to be connected this the this is the curve this is the line that shows the direction of the thermodynamical process it shows that the piston moves from a to b understood after drawing the curve what we have to do we are going to calculate the work done by the gas how to calculate the work done by the gas with the help of the graph now this line to be extended are you clear a line to be drawn towards the x axis are you clear from a we have to draw from b also one more line to be drawn now we have to find out the area just below to the curve are you clear just below to the curve one area is available this area that gives you the work done by the gas so first you have to calculate what is the area which is available below to the curve the area under the curve the area under the curve 
that gives you which one work done by the system work done by the system or gas can be calculated this graph is drawn when the gas is expanded are you clear when the gas is expanded the work done is done by the system or the gas another kind of graph can also be drawn when the gas is compressed by the time it should be called as work done on the system for that also we can draw the graph here we are concentrating only on the work done by the system are you clear so the gentle thing is after drawing the curve we have to find out the area we have to find out what is the total area available below to the curve that area that one gives you directly about the work done by the system understood so that is the purpose of drawing the pv diagram so pv diagram is nothing but it is a graph that is drawn between pressure and volume so within which we are able to find out the pressure and volume changes in the meantime we are able to calculate the work done by the system understood just to understand the pv diagram we are going to solve the problem number 8.15 here look at here the initial pressure of the gas is one atmosphere that is pi now the gas is expanded even after the expansion the pressure is not changing again the same pressure is maintained constant pressure is maintained but volume is changing from 1 meter cube to 2 meter cube so now the gas it does some work the work done by the gas to be calculated work done by the gas can be calculated by the formula also are you clear with the help of formula we are able to calculate so what is the formula here work done by the gas work done by the gas the formula is integral of pdv v1 to v2 that is the formula later the pressure is kept constant therefore the pressure can be taken outside v1 to v2 can be written dv can be written the next step what happens the pressure that is already outside the integral so if it is integrated you will get v v1 minus v2 v1 that one comes as the lower limit v2 is the upper limit so the final formula will be p into v2 minus v1 is the formula understood now you substitute the pressure value the pressure value is one at one atmosphere the value of atmospheric pressure is how much one atmosphere substitute the initial volume and the final volume you will get the answer are you clear i'll write it here the atmospheric pressure is 101 into 10 to the power of 3 pascal into final volume is 2 meter cube minus 1 meter cube both have to be substituted the difference will be 1 meter cube here the space is not available there that's why i'm writing here so the work done by the gas is equal to 101 into 10 to the power of 3 into what is the change in volume 1 meter cube so after multiplying what will happen 101 into 10 to the power of 3 work done must be measured in joule so finally it could be written as 101 kilo joule that is the answer so this much amount of work is done by the gas there the same answer that one arrived with the help of the formula no the same answer that could be derived that could be obtained from the pv diagram also so you have to plot the graph with the help of the graph you have to plot the graph after that you have to find out the area are you clear below to the line here pressure is kept constant no below to the line this is the initial position of the piston this is the final position of the piston pressure is kept constant now this area to be found out if you calculate the area here that area that gives you the same answer are you clear the answer that is arrived with the help of the formula the same answer that could be obtained with the help of the graph also this area that one also gives you area under the line under the this line curve or line that one gives you the work done understood so that is the the clear purpose of drawing and learning the pv diagram understood so 
from formula as well as, as well as from the pv diagram you will be obtaining the same value of work done understood 